Who had more money, Genghis Khan or John D. Rockefeller? Hmm, this is interesting because of the philosophical question it raises for us to consider. How exactly does one measure wealth? Hello, welcome to Action vs. Motivation. Today, we will explore whose ruler had the most incredible wealth of all time. Is wealth measured only in how much money you have? If so, that is highly complicated. Money does not have a fixed value. Some people are unfathomably rich. According to the national news, Elon Musk ends 2021 as the wealthiest person in the world. That is more than the combined gross domestic product of countries like Myanmar, Laos, and Cambodia with around 7 to 6 million people. Indeed, in our modern world, technology allows the creation and consolidation of genuinely incredible wealth. We are living among the wealthiest individuals in history. As it turns out, we are not. The world's richest individuals lived in earlier times, in eras where pure wealth was more complex to measure than today. Here is the list of the individuals who can surely leave you in awe with their enormous amount of wealth. Let's get started. Number 10. Emperor Shenzong of Song Emperor Shenzong, who goes by the name Zhao Shi, is one of the wealthiest people who ever lived on this planet. He was the sixth emperor of China's Song Dynasty, who ruled between 1067 to 1085. It is said that the emperor controlled 30% of the global GDP and he was in the business of trading bronze, which made him very rich. The Song Dynasty of China was one of the most economically powerful empires in history. The whole nation accounted between 25 to 30 percent of the world's financial outcome during its peak. According to Ronald A. Edwards, a Chinese economic historian of the Song Dynasty at Tamkin University, the empire's riches came from its technological innovations and powerful skill at tax collection. The professor also mentioned that the Song Dynasty's government was highly centralized. The emperor or held great control over the economy. Number 9. Muammar Gaddafi Muammar Abu Minyar al-Gaddafi is the former president of Libya. It was believed that Muammar Gaddafi had a net worth of $70 billion. If this information is true to life, this would have made him one of the wealthiest people on the planet. Muammar Gaddafi was the longest serving ruler of Libya since the Ottoman Empire and the longest non-royal ruler still living. However, his 42-year authority has been the subject of much controversy and internal unrest. As of February 2011, political unrest boiled over into full-scale violence perpetrated mainly by the military against civilian protesters. Gaddafi was forced out of office and run from rebel forces. The United States government and NATO encouraged Gaddafi to turn himself in and liberate his country from continued violence. On October 20, 2011, after several months on the run, Muammar Gaddafi was captured by rebel forces and executed. Number 8. Will William the Conqueror. Most people knew him as William the Bastard or William the Conqueror back then. He was held bastard as they thought he was a descendant of Viking invaders which explains why he got his skill for invasion. He was a king of England who ruled between 1066 and 1087 and history records him as one of the richest rulers in the history. William the Conqueror had $229.5 billion. When he reached his teenage years, he was knighted by the king. Then, in 1064, he conquered Brittany and Maine. When Edward the Confessor died, he was succeeded by Harold Goodwin instead of William. Due to this, he was angry and invaded England to enforce his claim. As he assembled his fleet onto the French coast, their plans to invade were delayed for several weeks. Finally, on October 14, 1066, the two armies met in the Battle of Hastings. During the battle, King Harold was killed and his two brothers. William was crowned King of England. He grabbed upland during his reign as king, distributing the property to his Norman followers. Number 7. Mir Osman Ali Khan Among the wealthiest people in history is the ruler of the princely state of Hyderabad, which was the most significant state in British India. It is reported that apart from being a good leader, he was one of the richest people of all time. In February 1937, he made an impression on the cover of Time magazine, labeled as the richest man in the world. He has a fortune estimated at $2 billion in the early 1940s, which is equivalent to $34.9 billion today, or 2% of the U.S. economy at that time. Celebrity Net Worth also rated him as one of the top 25 wealthiest persons of all time in its inflation-adjusted list. The website that reports estimates of celebrities' total assets and financial activities ranked the last Nizam as sixth in the list of 25 wealthiest people ever lived. It had estimated his wealth as $230 billion encoded in the description. Mir Osman Ali Khan had a 
personal collection of gold that was worth more than $100 million and owned over $400 million worth of jewels, including the famous Jacob Diamond, which is worth $95 million today. Khan used the diamond as a paperweight in his office. In addition, he supposedly owned more than 50 Rolls Royces. Number 6. Nicholas II Romanov One of the wealthiest people on the face of the earth is Nicholas II of Russia. He was the last emperor of Russia who reigned between 1894 to 1917, but he was forced to surrender. Nikolai Alexandrovich Romanov was officially titled Nicholas II, emperor and autocrat of all the Russians. However, the monarchy called title Tsar was commonly known. The eldest son of Emperor Alexander III was educated by highly qualified private tutors. He joined the army at the age of 19. In his three-year stint in the military, he reached the rank of colonel. He succeeded the Russian throne from his father following his father's death. During his reign, he saw Imperial Russia shifts from being one of the foremost great powers of the world to economic and military collapse. As for his foreign policy, Romanov's main objective was to maintain the status quo in Europe. One of the successful projects in his time is the construction of the Trans-Siberian Railroad, which still remains the largest railway in the world. Number 5. King Solomon The Bible says that King Solomon's gold mines helped him store wealth amounting to more than 2.3 trillion pounds, which are a complete myth as historians believe. The biblical ruler has accumulated 500 tons of pure gold from the mines. Still, experts now say the pot of wealth is unlikely to have ever existed. But according to the Bible, in the book of 2 Chronicles, King Solomon received over 25 tons of gold and the taxes paid by the merchants every year. The kings of Arabia and the governors of the Israelite districts also brought him silver and gold. Solomon made 200 large shields, each covered with about 15 pounds of beaten gold, and 300 smaller securities, each covered with 8 pounds of beaten gold. He had them all placed in the hall of the forest of Lebanon. All of King Solomon's drinking cups were made of gold, and all the utensils in the hall of the forest of Lebanon were pure gold, but silver was not considered valuable in Solomon's day. Imagine what it feels like eating using gold utensils. Furthermore, he had a fleet of ocean-going ships sailing with King Hiram's fleet. Every three years, his fleet would return, bringing gold, silver, apes, and monkeys. King Solomon was more prosperous and wiser than any other king in the world. These are the reasons why King Solomon is on our list. He is absolutely a king surrounded by gold. Number 4. Augustus Caesar Augustus Caesar was the first emperor of the Roman Empire who was a military leader and a statesman who was one of the wealthiest individuals who have ever lived. Caesar controlled much of the world's most powerful states. His rule was from 27 BC to 14 AD. During his reign, he enlarged the empire, conquering Dalmatia, Egypt, Risha, Naricum, Pannonia, Africa, and completing his quest in Hispania. In records, his personal fortune was 20% of the entire empire economy, which was worth around $4.63 trillion. Number 3. Akbar I The renowned ruler of the Mughal Empire, who reigned from 1556 to 1605, is one of the wealthiest people in the history. He conquered hundreds of thousands of square miles in what today is known as the Indian subcontinent. His power and influence, aided by his political, cultural, and economic dominance, saw him control nearly 25% of the world's GDP, which today equals $21 trillion. Fortune's Chris Matthews cites the late economic historian Angus Madison, who speculates that India's GDP per capita under Akbar was comparable to Elizabethan era of England, but with a ruling class whose extravagant lifestyle surpassed that of the European society. That assertion that India's elite class was wealthier than their counterparts to the West is backed up by data from economist Branko Milanovic whose research shows the Mughal dynasty was one of the most effective empires of all time at extracting wealth from the population. Number 2. Genghis Khan Probably the top two on our list will be one of your favorites. Genghis Khan is undoubtedly one 
one of the most successful military leaders of all time. As a leader of the Mongol Empire, which, at its height, stretched from China to Europe, he controlled the largest powerful empire in history. However, Genghis never hoarded his wealth despite his great power. On the contrary, Khan's generosity was crucial to his influence. One of the bases of his success is sharing the spoils with his soldiers and other commanders, says Maurice Rosabi, a distinguished professor of history at CUNY's Queen's College. Jack Weatherford, an author of Genghis Khan and the Making of the Modern World, describes that Mongol soldiers, unlike many pre-modern armies, were not allowed from taking personal loot. Instead, after an area was invaded and conquered, every item taken was taken to an inventory by official clerks, and then later distributed amongst the military and their families. Genghis still received a share of the spoils, but that hardly made him rich. He built no palace for himself or family, no temple, no tomb, and not even a house, says Weatherford. He was born in a wooljer, and he died in a wooljer. At death, he was wrapped in felt like any common person and then buried. Number 1. Mensa Musa Have you ever heard of the Golden King? Probably not, but some people says that he is the wealthiest person in the history. No one can comprehend his wealth. It's immeasurable. It was indescribable that some try to put it in more than a trillion figures. Mansa Musa, the king of Timbuktu, is said to be the wealthiest person in history. According to Fareham College history professor Richard Smith, Musa's West African kingdom was probably the biggest producer of gold in the world when gold was in incredibly high demand. So, imagine just how rich Musa was. It's unbelievable. Unfortunately, there is no way to calculate his wealth accurately. Records and documents are in scarce, and contemporary sources define the king's riches as impossible. Some tales of his famous pilgrimage to Mecca was when Musa spent lavishly that it caused a currency crisis in Egypt. There were dozens of camels, each carrying hundreds of pounds of gold. Others said Musa's army consisted of 200,000 men, including 40,000 archers. Even modern superpowers would have difficulty bringing to the field troop numbers. But to get caught up in the king's exact wealth is to miss the point. Rudolf Weir, an associate professor of history at the University of Michigan, explains that Musa's riches were so immense that people struggled to describe them. This is the richest guy anyone has ever seen. That's the point, says Weir. They're trying to find words to explain that. There are pictures of him holding a scepter of gold on a gold throne, holding a gold cup with a golden crown on his head. Imagine as much gold as you think a human being could possess and double it. That's what all the accounts are trying to communicate. If you're surprised by the idea that there are fewer than 100 people control as much riches as half the world today, just imagine how concentrated money used to be. If somebody were to kidnap any billionaire, would any ransom they could demand send a continent into recession? If no one can even comprehend your wealth, that means you're pretty damn rich. If you like this video, don't forget to have a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button for more videos.